Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released iOS 18 software update for compatible iPhone and iPad models. When it comes to the iPhone, all iPhones running iOS 17 are compatible with the iOS 18 release. For some reasons, very limited number of users, when they try to update their iOS to the latest iOS 18 version, they may encounter an error, update is not available or unable to check for update. An error occurred while checking for a software update. So if you are experiencing similar issue then follow these simple troubleshooting steps to fix and start updating your iPhone. The very first thing you need to do is perform a simple restart of your iPhone. Tap and hold this volume down icon and then the side button for a couple of seconds to see the slide to power off option and then you can perform the restart then check the same settings general software update section to receive the iOS 18 software update. You may be seeing two software updates right now which is the iOS 17.7 .7, and then in the also available section you will see iOS 18 version if you're currently using iOS 17.6.1 stable release. So Apple provides you an option to choose between whether to stay the previous iOS 17 stable release or you want to update to the latest iOS 18 to experience all the features. There are few minor bugs present in the iOS 18 like keyboard related bugs and few apps crash issue but still it is much better than the previous betas and you know the initial release of iOS 17 was a nightmare and iOS 18 seems to be a much better choice if you are ready to go for experiencing all the new features. The next troubleshooting step that you can try is check your network connection. If you are using mobile data and you know checking the software update that is not available then you need to find a stable good Wi-Fi connection to download and update your iOS system software. It comes around 8 GB for most of the iPhone models. So to download that 8 gigabytes of you know, file size, it is must to have a good stable Wi-Fi connection to prevent any file corrupt issues or any network related errors happening that affects the iOS 18 download. Also, you may end up with boot loop related error. You know, the iPhone restarts and it never comes back to the home screen if there is any file corrupt issue happened with the download. So make Make sure to use a stable good Wi-Fi connection and that will help you to fix unable to check for update error that you may experience with the iPhone or iPad while updating to the latest iOS 18. So I hope these two troubleshooting steps helped you to fix the issue. Thank you so much for watching. For more, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.